I done watched them niggas do interview after interview. They not coach your vultures. The coach or something. Talk about um, being on tour with Martin. Martin Lawrence. I have been waiting my whole life. My whole life for an opportunity like that. That's what, that's what I wanted. Off the rip. It ain't happened to 2020. You know, um, I, I remember watching Def Comedy Jam. Like this, this type of shit could have been happening if I wasn't doing a lot of the stupid shit and talking shit. Along, and I just focused on being funny. Mm -hmm. Focused on being the nigga that I that I am. You know what I'm saying? That what, what I what I what I focus remembering what the fuck I came to do. Um, I um, used to watch Def Comedy Jam when I'm um, shit. What nine, ten years old. Mm -hmm. And shit, and my Martin was Martin, fucking icon, legend, all that shit. And then he started blowing up and went on to do uh, the Martin Lawrence show, his his own show, the TV show. And he stopped doing Def Comedy Jam, and I was heartbroken because I was like, I could have sworn this nigga was gonna bring me out on stage one day. Yeah, could have sworn that shit was gonna happen. And shit, lo and behold, like a, what was it, twenty seven years later, this shit happened. It happened, man. Um, you know, thanks to Music Soul Child. That don't even sound right, do it. Right? What the fuck does Music Soul Child have to do with you going on? Right? <laughs> but, you know, uh, a lot of people don't know this. I'm I'm a real big R and B fan. Okay. More, more, way more than uh, hip hop. Um, you 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 be hard pressed to see me at hip hop concerts. Very hard pressed. Mm. Um, I'm I've opened for damn near every '90s and 2000 R&B artist ever. We brought them out on stage, all that. I've done that shit. And Music Soul Child was a really good friend of mine. We related because we got the same kind of eye. <laughs> <laughs> you know, since so we was always friends, I was uh, opening up for Music Soul Child at BB King one night, and, and, and I had just ripped that bitch too. And after the show. Um, after the show, we, we was back there in the, drinking in the uh, green room, and he's like, "Yo, man, I'm confused. I, I don't get it. How the fuck you so fucking funny, but you ain't further in your career? I don't understand why you not in movies. Why you ain't on this? Why you ain't on that? Who's your manager? Who's your agent?" And I said, "Nigga, I don't understand why I ain't on none of that shit either. <laughs> yeah. I'm just as perplexed as you." And I'm my manager. I'm my agent. Oh, you doing it yourself, Jack? Yeah, I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do, who to talk to. I don't, I'm not shaking the right hands. I'm not in the right rooms with whoever is making these decisions. He said, Nika, yes, you are. You just ain't asking the right questions. And he said, you know what I'm going to do for you? My manager gonna manage you. Norm, you managing Jack from here on out. Um uh, fast forward, I had go through all this bullshit with um we get going blind, homeless and stuff. I'm just getting back on my feet now. And then Norm hit me up and he said, Jack, you all right? I said, Yeah, I'm cool. Oh, um, I'm about to go do drink champs with Marlon Wayne and uh Nori and shit down. So I'm trying to get my shit back on track. My, my life back on track. I ain't been on this in 50 in a long time doing interviews. And then I know that I need to get back on stage and make some fucking money and whatnot. I said, yo, um, let me, we gotta, let's get you an agent. And I was like, okay, cool. Let's get me an agent. Um, I, I'm open to that. I don't think nobody gonna fuck with me. I'm, I'm kind of washed up. I'm, I'm depressed. I, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. And I'm, uh, what's out there for me is making $2,500 a show here and there. That's what I think this is what my shit gonna be. And uh, he he hits me back. He said, hey, uh, I see him just, they was like, oh, you got Jack Thriller? Uh, yeah, that nigga, he, he's funny as fuck. Does he do stand-up? And cause we just know him as the, the, the interview red carpet guy. 
And he was like, yeah, he do stand up. Can you send us a a, a a tape, a reel or some shit like that of him doing? Because we got this Martin Lawrence tour coming up. Wow. And he hits me and tells me about it and shit. Oh, they got a Martin Lawrence tour coming up. Oh, okay, cool. That's dope. They said you could probably be on it. I said, I know that's right. I could probably be on tour with Martin. Damn, man. Yeah, cool. <laughs> 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 so I sent him this, this uh, he told me to send him a, a um, a YouTube video of me doing stand up, and I sent him this shit that Sway I did uh, Sway Sway in the morning because earlier that year Sway had this comedy show at uh, Caroline's on Broadway, yes, and he heard that I was fucked up and and I wasn't doing well, and he told me to come up and he just wanted to talk to me and just to see what my mind was and try to cheer me up. I go in, I go to uh, to the comedy club, I go to the comedy club, um, I go to the green room and talk to Sway. And he hand me five thousand dollars. Like <laughs> that shit was like stacked up in twenties and hundreds and shit. Like I said, um, I was confused. Like, what is the fuck is it? What is this for? <laughs> and he said, "You finna go on stage and, and uh, perform." I said, "How many times you want me to go up for this?" <laughs> <laughs> right. He said, "He said just one." But, but I was like, "Damn." Shit, you had to go on stage. He said, You want the money? I said, Yes, I'll go on stage. He said, I said, When you, you want me to go last? He said, No, I want you to go first. Damn. Damn. Nigga, I ain't been on stage in, in fucking a year and a half. <laughs> you know, I, I just don't know what to talk about. Or shit. He said, Nigga, just talk about the shit you just been through. I said, Nigga, I don't want nobody to know what happened to me. No right. fuck. <laughs> And he said, give me my money back. I said, okay, cool. Go to, no, 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 tell the nigga to bring me up now. I'm going up now. But put, bring me up now. I'm gone. <laughs> the nigga called me up. And I just started talking about what happened to me. And everybody's on the floor rolling, laughing, dying. And I'm, 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 I'm it was like riding a bike. I, I, and I remember who the fuck I was again. Yeah. It's been so long since I've been I, I did that and, and worked that muscle. Mm -hmm. And I realized, oh, I got experiences to talk about now. Oh shit. And the shit was ripping. And so uh, he put the video up on, on, on YouTube and shit. And I was just using it to get booked here and there. And now I send this thing to my new my manager, Norm. He sends it to ICM. Um, ICM says, hey, uh, this shit is dope as fuck. Uh, if Martin, we're going to show this shit to Martin. If Martin like it, then jack on to a Martin. And I'm listening to him say that. Now I'm excited. Now I'm like, what the fuck? If, mm -hmm. So if he Martin like this shit, then I'm going to be on that. But then I was like, no, you know how many new comedians it is right now that's viral and shit? They ain't going to give me that shit. Mm. They ain't finna give. They, you know how many niggas is more funnier than me and shit. And Norm told me to shut the fuck up, nigga. You doper than mother. Ain't nobody fucking with you. Ain't nobody fucking with you. Started this shit. He peppered me up. And he's like, yeah. And I'm starting to get my, my my mojo back. In. Yeah, ain't nobody fucking with me. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, ain't nobody fucking with me. Ain't nobody fucking with me. Ain't nobody fucking with me. I'm trying to hype myself up. Why? And a week later, uh, he called me. He said, uh, Martin saw the shit and I'm on tour. Mm. And this is in October. And they're gonna give me 10,000 a show. Powerful. And I only, I only gotta do 10 minutes. So wow. you're gonna pay me a thousand dollars a minute, Martin? I once I've never met Martin before in my fucking life. And Martin was a big fan of my interviews and all Martin know me. What the fuck? Wow. And he want me on the show. And he he, he said, yeah. But I see him want to know, like, can Jack handle this? Because, you know, he has, he, and we see funny on stage in comedy clubs, 300 seaters, but this is a 20,000, these is 20,000 seat arenas. And I, 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 I said, no, I ain't never performed in front of more than 1,500 people. 20,000 seaters? Shit! <laughs> Nigga, I, I was thinking about the money and that, that shit. And I was like, okay, fuck this shit. I know what to do. I'm fixing to go do a, I'm fixing to do a thousand shows before the first show. Get ready. Yeah. Yes. And I was on stage every night in six going up six times a night preparing for that shit. Yeah. 
And, uh, you know, when the shit actually happened, it was showtime, and I had my own dressing room, and the nigga did with all the shit that I want in there. I, I thought I was in somebody else's shit when I went in my shit. <laughs> <laughs> all this liquor for me? <laughs> I was, the, 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 everything I put on the rider for me, them chicken wings, the, the lemon pepper wings, and the fruit and the shit, and the, the, the towels, and the vice waters, and all the shit that I said, the everything that I said. Was in there. I was like, "Oh shit, nigga, I'm on." That's right. Word. I'm on. Good for so, you. So I did a few a few shows with him. Like, well, I want to say five six. I was but oh, it was a fifty six city tour, Dang. and then COVID COVID hit. Uh, I had a show in Tampa, Tampa. I'm, I'm in Atlanta because I'm gonna drive to Tampa from Atlanta, and I got my outfit with me, all that shit, by the hook up with my, my manager and stuff, and then they canceled the Tampa show. Because of COVID. And it was official. COVID was here. Man. I get a call from Martin. People say, hey, the, 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 the rest of the year, the shit, the, all the shows is canceled and they're going to be rescheduled when shit go back up. But Martin definitely wants you to stay on tour. So keep yourself together. Keep shit up. And we'll talk to you soon. How was it? How was the experience when, when the, the couple of times you did get on the um on stage during that during the tour. Oh, I found myself. So, I found my, it was that same feeling. Oh, I had forgot every one of my, the first show. I forgot every joke, but, uh, but uh, inside my dressing room, and as I'm walking to the stage, it ain't like walking from a comedy club with dressing room to the <laughs> stage. You walking down these long ass fucking halls, and then you 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 get to the stage, and that shit, you can see the the jumbotrons. Around it, the arena, it's go time. It's go time. Go and time. I, and then then now they about to uh, announce that Jack Thriller is coming on stage and whatnot. And I'm opening the show up, mind you. I'm opening the show and whatnot. I'm I'm, I'm about to get on the stage once again. I don't got not now. I can't think, remember now joke. But when the, when the motherfucker called my name, I'm, I, I and I I'm, I'm skipping the music comes on. I'm skipping on the stage to go to grab the mic. All that shit came back. Mm. All that shit came back, and I wham, wham, and then it, the laughter so loud and so thunderous mm. that it's scary. It's mm. scary because keep in mind, you, comedy, a comedy, comedy clubs is small. They're small. So when if something's not funny, like let's say if you if something ain't funny, you can tell when you hear that one or two or three people laughing and whatnot that that shit ain't shit. Now, if something ain't funny in the arena, them one or two, three people and shit is damn near forty percent of the room, and that those three people, th those that forty percent travels throughout the whole shit, and mm -hmm. it becomes a dome, a dome thing. And you can hear people catching up on your jokes and like, what are you saying? And whining and shit. And I was just in the zone, bro. That shit was magical. Lord. It was magical, and then for you. For your hero, your childhood hero, to tell you that you funnier than a motherfucker, you did that shit. You the man and hug you and embrace you and you know you, that that nigga was my daddy on tour. Or yeah, salute to Martin, man. Man, salute to Martin. Like I said, I ain't even never met the nigga. Nigga, the nigga hand picked your dog. I was the last last person picked on the tour. Out of Lil Rail, out of fucking uh, Jay Farrow. Uh, Benji Brown, uh, D Ray, Michael Blackson, mm. Lil Duval. Wow. I got on there by myself. And I'm on the tour with, with, with my homeboy that I grew up with, that I was a goddamn uh, personal assistant, bodyguard, opening that floor 10 years ago. 